just wanted to personally thank you for making the video What Makes Me Beautiful. Um, it's so great to see that people are finally understanding that beauty is not the media. Beauty is not a common denominator that we can base people off of. Beauty is an internal thing. Um, I've seen so many of my friends, and myself included, try to change for um, the media, try to change for the mainstream scene, and it's not something that you can control. As much as we try to say beauty is internal, beauty, you're a beautiful person, kids, you know, 12, 12 years old, they're not going to understand that. They're not going to understand the concept of beauty is an internal thing because at a young age they were taught beauty is external. Beauty is an adjective to describe a person's look. Um, I actually went to college for a child psychology course and they were explaining to us that at that age children are just on the cusp of understanding the social mainstream um, definitions of words and then the actual more abstract versions. And at that age, I realized I was the same way. I always thought that I wasn't beautiful because of what I believed beauty was. Um, at that age, I have so many scars in my body, and I will admit it. I have stretch marks. I have scars in my legs from riding motorcycles, from playing baseball. Um, like, my legs tell a story of my life, and that's how I put it. My legs tell a story. And I always thought of that as ugly. But why was I the one that had to get stretch marks? Why did I have to have cuts all down my legs? Why was I meant to get burned? And I realized that nobody's looking for my faults. Only I'm looking for my faults. Why should I do that to myself? And another thing that I struggled with at a young age was my weight. Um, I was never an overweight, obese child. I, I don't even know where I got the idea from. I can probably say that I'm 5'4", almost 5'5", five five, and almost 130 pounds because of my muscle. And like you mentioned, you're a dancer with muscular legs. Well, I play baseball and I still have muscular legs. I dance and I still have muscular legs. And I always thought that, you know, having thighs that were bigger is a bad thing. Like, I'll show you right now. Okay. See? I have bigger thighs. They're not too big, but they're bigger. See? And I always thought that that was ugly. And then finally one day, actually last year, I wore my first pair of normal shorts to school. And not one person commented on my legs. Not one person said anything negative. And I kind of just realized then, why am I judging myself when nobody else is? Um, and you were also talking about people talking down other people because of their own insecurity. My school actually does something called the Names Can Really Hurt Us program, where kids can come in and um, talk openly in front of their class, their actual, you know, class of 12, for example, my class, about um, their bullying stories, if they were ever bullied, they were the bully. And um, I got up and explained my story, and uh, I looked right in the eyes of the people that bullied me, because I was bullied before, because of my looks. And I said, thank you. Thank you for doing all of those horrible things to me, because you made me stronger. And I had a person that was horrible to me come up to me and give me a hug and say, I am so sorry for all the things that I've said. And that was just, that was beyond. I, I couldn't even grasp that concept. And um, I had people saying, I never knew that you're, you felt so badly about yourself. I said, that's in the past. I love myself. And I do. I, the way that I think is, how can you love somebody else if you can't even love yourself? If you don't understand love, the love of yourself, 
adoring who you are as a person and embracing it, you can't understand how to love somebody else. If you can't give yourself a compliment once in a while, how can you give another a compliment? Isn't that being hypocritical? And I just think that girls my age, older, younger, you know, anybody, any person, you are beautiful. Nobody can tell you that you are ugly. You aren't good enough. Because they themselves never set the standard. There is no standard. No matter what the media tells you. No matter what the weight chart in the doctor's office tells you. There is no standard to tell you if you're beautiful or not. You're beautiful on the inside and it radiates on the outside. If you are an ugly person on the inside, you're distrusting, you, you're just alone, you lock yourself away from everybody, people are going to start seeing you as an ugly person, emotionally, physically. Everybody's special, and I know that sounds like a freaking Hallmark card. I'm the first person to admit it, but everybody is special. And I think people need to start understanding that they're great. They are what makes this world turn. Without one person in this world, who knows what would happen? You know? And sometimes, you know, even I get a little bit upset once in a while with myself, even after all the stuff that I've been through. And then I stop and I say, you know what? I need to take a second. And I list all the things that I like about myself. I like my smile. I like my eyes. I like my laugh. I like the way that I have compassion for younger children. I like the way that I can embrace anybody. And eventually, although it may take a while, you'll regain that confidence back. And there is such a difference between external and internal beauty. And in order for you to be beautiful on the outside, you have to be beautiful on the inside. And there's no words to describe how much of a need there is in today's society for people to know that. Um, there's actually a website that you can go on to that I actually joined and I've been doing this. It's called Operation Beautiful. You can Google it. It's really, it's, you know, it's a free site. It's not going to send you any spyware or anything. I'm a part of it, actually. And I'm not going to tell you the whole thing because that would ruin the surprise, but it, you're going to love it. And I've been doing this for about a year now, and I have never been so happy. So thank you. Hope you have a great day slash night whenever you're watching this. And keep making videos. Much love.